Hello and welcome to Nutrition HO15. This is a short virtual tour around the course. When you enter, the homepage will always be the same. It will have these icons which will direct you to the most commonly used pages. By the second week of class, the Start Here icon will actually change to a to-do list. So your to-do list will always be here. When you enter the course, you should be starting here. We are using an e-textbook this semester. Uh, click on this uh, e-textbook icon and you can click on any of these links to direct you to the associated chapter. To view the schedule, click on the calendar icon. You can find all of your due dates here. Your modules you will be accessing weekly. Click on the module and I will always move the week we're working on to the top. But you can scroll down and view any of your weeks by clicking on the arrow icon to open and close the week's material. I recommend going through this information sequentially. You'll be starting with the chapter lecture videos, which you'll need to watch on YouTube. Welcome to this week's topic on food choices. Each of the videos you can scroll through this by clicking over here. And to move to the next section, simply click Next. What you'll see is the weekly objectives, and then I'll have your textbook reading. Remember, we're using an e-textbook. I will have a Word document option and a PDF option, um, but I'll always have your reading within the modules. You must also read through my notes. I will have a series of notes, which I recommend going through in a sequential order. You can always go to the notes and look at how they're categorized by clicking on modules. By going to modules and clicking, we're in, I was looking at chapter two, clicking this arrow, arrow, you can click up and down. This will bring you through all of the instructor's notes, the quiz yourself, um, which are your study stack tools. These allow you to quiz yourself on the common terms that we're covering, and notice that once you finish your quiz yourself, you'll always be directed to your diet study project. So each week, I tell you exactly what you need to do for your diet study project. You click next, this will give you to your quiz. You will also find your discussion within the modules. From the home page, you will also find a link to the YouTube, but those are also always in modules. You can link to the FAQs and your diet study project. So if you ever get behind, you can always go to the diet study project here. I have information, instructions, the links you need, the documents you need. I have videos on the uh, how to register for the account, how to enter your diet, and then you can always link to any part of these sections. In section two of part two, it'll bring you right to it. So if you're getting behind, always go to this link and read through these instructions. Um, you can always access Super Tracker. You'll be using this frequently throughout the semester. Um, this Ask Questions icon will bring you to the week one um, weekly questions for instructor, and I'll be changing this each week because there's usually a lot of questions. If you have questions, it wouldn't hurt to go here to see if somebody has asked your same question already. And lastly, if you ever need my contact information, just click on instructor info. This is also in the syllabus, but it tells you know, how to contact me, email, my fax number, text. I recommend text only for quick questions, clarifications, Feel free to be anonymous, um, I don't care, but if you do email me, make sure you put your first and last name. Um, I see our voicemail, which I don't usually check, but uh, you can always call me and leave a message there. Now lastly, the two other documents you'll need, you'll find in the side here. Um, 
One is going to be your syllabus. This is uh, something that you should use as a reference. Again, I have um, a table of contents, so if you have questions about your quizzes or you want to know um, information about the late work policy, you can always go to the uh, go to the syllabus and you'll find the answers here. Also, you can also find all the different ways to contact me and how to message me within Canvas. One way to message me, this is actually a very quick way and I recommend using this, is go into your inbox and that will, and then select my name and you can send me a message. But I try to encourage all forms of communication. I just want to make it easy for you to communicate with me. Your assignments here, this is where you're going to submit your diet study. So once you go into assignments at the top, what you'll see is uh, part one for your diet study, submit reports here, and then diet study part two, submit assignment here. You can, um, actually, you know what, I'm not even in your, let me switch to my student mode, because your, because your view is actually going to look a little bit different. Um, so in your assignments, what you'll see is you can either look at the assignments by date or by type. And if you go by type, which is what I recommend, then you'll see the diet study reports at the top. And then I'll tell you when it's available and also the due date. So lastly, um, a couple, a few things. I have a whole video on the discussion forum, but the discussions we're working on for the week will always be here. And then all the other discussions that will open will be here. Once we have finished a discussion, I will put it in the close for comments. That means you can refer to it, but you just can't add to it. Um, one thing that's a little confusing about the discussion forum, and I have this in a separate video, is that you're divided into groups. And so once you enter the discussion forum, whoops, sorry, this one's locked, you'll actually find that you're in a, it will look like an entirely different classroom. And you'll need to go back to the to the HO15 class in order to get to the home page. A couple last things here. Your grades you can always view here and I'll be putting up some videos on how to look at grades and feedback as we go through the course and then to access your quizzes here. But keep in mind the modules, this is where I want you to go every week, this is what I want you to go through sequentially, this is where all of your information, your reading assignments will all be. Um, you can't access any of this information until you take the student agreement. It's a very simple one question um, agreement and you just have to read through a few of the requirements for the course. And then as you can see, you can go through all of your weekly module, weekly readings and discussion forums here. Okay, well that wraps up the virtual tour. Um, as always, feel free to ask me any questions.